signs that you're truly being spiritually guided and not just fooling yourself. Using our judgment is essential on the spiritual path we're on. The inner voice is the means by which our spirit guides in part their messages to us. Without adequate discernment, we might easily fool and delude ourselves in our search for spiritual guidance. Also, if we don't have good judgment, we run the risk of being misguided and becoming psychotic or sociopaths. Therefore, we must first look at ourselves to discover the origin of this guidance before we can conclude that we are being guided spiritually. For example, Hitler actually thought he was being guided spiritually to cleanse his race. This highlights the importance of practicing genuine spiritual discernment. Judgment is a talent that calls for a certain level of sensitivity. A sage teacher once told us to be wary of people who profess to be overconfident after receiving clear directions. Even while it can be exhausting to use our judgment, we are not left to flounder in the dark. To ensure that the guidance we get is true spiritual instruction, we have given access to a variety of guides. However, these suggestions are meant only as prompts for our own intuition and judgment, and should not be followed too literally. If you want to know for sure if you are being guided spiritually, there are several signs to look for. To begin with, you experience a taste of freedom. You do not have the impression of being imprisoned in a box in which the door can be opened or shut. In fact, it's a type of freedom that goes beyond mere comfort. Second, you feel the heart's openness and kindness. This specific good deed is not the type that is certain to make other people happy. Instead, it helps you set limits, which may seem harsh because it necessitates tough love. As long as your acts of compassion do not require being impolite or insensitive, you are being divinely guided. Third, you feel like your life is really happening. The availability of genuine spiritual guidance will enhance your sense of being totally alive. It doesn't make you feel lifeless within. You enjoy everything that you have to the fullest extent possible. Four, you have a burst of energy in whatever you're doing. Spiritual direction may guide you to perform a task that requires a lot of physical energy, but you won't get tired of doing it since you'll be doing things that give you spiritual vitality. You feel alive and thriving in what you do. Five, you experience a sense of ease, efficiency, calm and grace. Spiritual direction makes it easier to take a deep breath. That the heading is correct is shown here. Even if you experience hardship along the way, you just feel it because you believe in that. Six, you have a sense of excitement, a sense that everything is as it should be and a lightness of being. The clarity of the guidance you receive is unimpaired by your lack of apprehension, no matter how daunting the work at hand may appear. Even if you're nervous, if you also feel optimistic about the future, you're on the correct track. Seven, you make choices out of love, which is evident. The question, what would I want to do if I had the chance? will always arise in your life. A person's love for you can either pull them closer to you or make it impossible to forgive them for their hurtful behavior. Basically, you need to make a decision based on this enormous power that permeates the cosmos. Eight, you recognize the logic in it. It's possible that a spiritual guide will tell you to do something counterintuitive, like giving up your job. Nonetheless, when the pieces begin to fit together, the path becomes more reliable. If someone asks you to do something that violates your moral principles, you should stop what you're doing and ask for confirmation or clarification. You may listen to people's opinions, but you always have the final say when it comes to your spiritual path. Nine, maybe you hurt someone's feelings on purpose, but it was for their own good. If someone is living with you but refuses to work and contribute to the household's income, you're spiritually guided when you finally decide to give them a lesson and send them to their own way of finding their path. Though the act may be unpleasant for them, you are being asked to do it so that the individual impacted might reevaluate their life and make better use of their untapped potential. But if you worry that the advice could put others in harm's way, you might want to rethink your stance. 10. You feel like you have more room in your body. After being given instructions, it's important to check in with how your body is doing. It's important to keep an eye out for signs. You may not be obtaining true guidance if doing so does not make you feel lighter, but rather causes you to have headaches or feel wary. Let your heart rate increase first. 
You can always try to get an answer from the hidden force of love if you're not sure about something. 11. In no way do you feel like you're being forced or controlled in any way. True love is never possessive or demanding. If these feelings are bugging you, it's important to focus on the words being said. 12. You feel that your core beliefs and values are aligned. You should think twice about acting on a spiritual nudge if it conflicts with your or someone else's core values and morals. The right course of action will never endanger you or anyone else. 13. You feel stillness. The capacity to identify true direction can provoke a reaction in you that, despite the chaos you may be experiencing, has the opposite impact of settling your nerves. Advice that prompts you to take action out of fear is not advice at all. 14. You can give a balanced response based on what's true and false about the situation. When trying to figure out what to say, confusion can become apparent. You should investigate the odds of getting both, though. An apparently incongruous comment may provide the key to understanding the issue at hand. When you feel the need to approach someone for aid with discernment, you can visit a therapist, spiritual counsellor or healer. What's already there in your heart, they can help validate and throw light on for you. I genuinely hope my brief explanation was helpful to you. Comment below with your opinions, and if you want to be notified when new videos are uploaded to this channel, please subscribe and make sure the bell symbol is activated. What you did was helpful, and I thank you.